action. This is ABC 15 News. Well, kids don't come home with instruction manuals, and sometimes you're never quite sure as a parent if you're doing the right thing. I can raise my hand to this one here. I don't have children, but I've mm -hmm. seen this happening in many <laughs> occasions. We're talking about tantrums, especially those meltdowns that you have in public. Christy Whitman, creator of the Enlightened Kid program, joins us live, and thanks for waking up with us early. First of all, what exactly constitutes a tantrum in your eyes? Well, you know, we see it. You see it in the grocery store. You see it on the playground. It, it, when a child just starts crying, they're, you know, they're yelling, they're sometimes flopping on the Floor, they're yes. kind of doing the little worm. Oh, yes. Inconsolable. So, yeah. So, it, so it's like they've just lost control and the parent's going, what do I do? So how many, I don't know, is there an average where number of tantrums you should expect as a parent that your child's going to have per day? Well, hopefully it's none. You know, <laughs> no, it's, it's going to happen. Though. It is going to happen. Yes. So you need to know what to do when it does happen and most importantly, how to avoid them. Okay, let's talk about that, yeah. please. How, how, what do we do when uh, our child's in the middle of a tantrum, Christy? You know, it's kind of like this. You know, imagine that you're jumping out of a plane, you know, and you your parachute is mm -hmm. not coming out. You know, it's absolutely. Not, it's kind of like it's going to be over soon. That's kind of sometimes how, what we have to do with a tantrum is like just kind of let the child do what they do because if we get involved and in, in, you know like give them a lot of attention, mm -hmm. a child is really wanting our attention. So okay. when we kind of start, um, we, we teach kids basically how to react with us. And if they're getting our attention, or if we're, say they're wanting a toy in a store, yeah. and we're like, here, take it, you know, mm -hmm. just to quiet them yeah. down, mm -hmm. they're getting what they want. So, those, so tantrums are a learned behavior. Those parents who aren't doing anything are really doing the right thing, even though they're annoying the rest of society. The rest of you? <laughs> the rest when, of my, when my kid is having a meltdown in Lowe's, yes. yes. <laughs> I just got to let him, let him go. He, well, Here's a couple of things you okay. can do. You get down to their level, so you know, get down to eye level. You hold them firmly, so not like grab them, but you yeah. know what I mean? Put your uh, touch on them and look at them and say, inappropriate, in a very firm voice. Mm -hmm. And then you do whatever it is. You leave the store or you, you know, put them in a space where they can just do their tantrum. But, you know, they have to know that that's not going to get the attention that they're wanting. Okay. So they're and, and Christy, we only have about 20 seconds left. Sure. I, I also like this one part. It was kind of a, a not necessarily making a deal, but letting them choose. Such yes, as going to absolutely. bed. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. they, they're going to go to bed. They have to put on their pajamas. They have to brush their teeth. Yes. So you said to them, what do you want to do first, pajamas or teeth? And you remember, kids are very concrete thinkers, so we have to talk to them in very Neanderthal, mm -hmm. you know, so pajamas, <laughs> paj you know, yes. toothbrush. And the thing is, too, this is important. <laughs> Important. I say this all the time. Give your child a transition time. So, like when parents are on the per, on the playground, instead of going, "Okay, let's go home," give them a five minute, a three minute, and a one minute warning, mm -hmm. so that they're prepared. Because just shifting like that is not good for it. They can't do yeah, that. Yeah, good That's advice. Brilliant. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's brilliant. I mean, we always get the warnings around here in the studio. Two minutes. <laughs> yes. To commercial break. You know. And another key thing that she said in the middle of a tantrum: give your child a hug. Yes. That's typically what Amy does to me when I'm having a meltdown here <laughs> right. in the studio. Just give me a hug. Uh, Christy Whitman, thank you so Great much you. for uh, for waking up with us. And uh, this is your website. What is the name of the website, Christy? ChristyWhitman.com. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you can get all the information and even learn how to contact you from there. Absolutely. Okay. Well, you a tantrumless Sunday, yes. everyone. <laughs> yeah. No kidding.